Welcome to Getting Started Tutorial of Centerprise Data Integrator. In this first video, we are going to have a look at how to create a simple data flow. In this simple data flow, I'm going to create a source that is Excel source and take that data from Excel and put that into a database table. To create a new data flow, you go to the File menu, New, and click on Data Flow and uh, a new data flow is created. In the toolbox on the left hand side you can see the items such as sources, destinations, maps, transformations and so on and so forth. To create a source uh, you point to your source and drag and drop onto the designer. In this case since our source is Excel workbook source I'm going to drag and drop that onto the designer and to specify the properties of the source I right click on it and go to the properties and I'm presented with a wizard where we can specify all the properties for the data source. In the very first page I specify why, uh, where my file path is. I click on this button and uh, point to my source file and uh, these other options are about reading the source. You can move to the next page in this wizard by clicking on this next button in the top left corner. I click on next button and application has read the layout of the source. It knows all the fields from the source and their corresponding data types. I click on OK and uh, my source is ready. If I click on the chevron, it is expanded and I can see all my fields from my source. Now my source is ready, I can uh, preview my data. So for that, if I right click, I can see the preview data menu item. I click on it and application has read the data from Excel source and this is how my data is inside the source. To create a destination, I'll go to the destination table and uh, from the toolbox, I'll drag and drop database table destination onto the designer. And again, I will go to the properties and specify the options. In the very first page, it is asking me about my credentials and where my database table is. In this case, it is SQL Server. As you can see here, depending on your destination, you can pick what type of uh, database you are, we are working with and it will ask you for the credentials for that database type. In this case it is SQL Server. I can specify my credentials here or I can use one of the recently used connections and I'm going to do that. So I use this connection, a test connection and you can see here it is testing successfully. Then I move to the next page and uh, there it is asking about what table I'm going to write into. So either I can pick an existing table or even I can create a new table. In this case, let's go ahead and create a new table. And uh, I'm going to leave other options uh, whatever they are by default. And uh, go to the next page. And this is the layout of the destination. <coughs> go to next page and click on OK. Now my source is ready and my destination is ready. I, For the mapping, I'm going to use the auto map feature of the Centerprise Data Integrator. And for that, you drag and drop the entire source node at the top of the input. And as a result, you can see here, all the maps are created. For each field from source, there is an outgoing line and that is getting into a field into destination and uh, that represents the map. So I have a very simple map between the source and destination. It is going to take the data as it is from source and put that into destination. We have just created a very simple data flow. Let's go ahead and save it. I give it a name and uh, let's call it data flow simple and click on save and now this data flow is saved on my system. 
and I can go ahead and run this data flow and for that I'll be using a very simple way on the, on the top next to the servers you can see all the servers installed on my machine I'm going to use this first server that is development server and uh, click on the start data flow button and as a result what happens that at the bottom you can see here in the progress it is showing me the trace how it ran and execution started and ended and uh, there's a button next to it where you can see the status with the number of records so in the excel source there were 83 records and they were all processed and all inserted into database destination so this concludes uh, the first tutorial where uh, we saw how to create a very simple data flow thanks for watching this video